So the Guyanese Cryptic is coming to you from Success on the east coast of Demerara. This is Success Railway Embankment. Hello. I, I got follow up with it for you. I ain't got no feedback yet. Right. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. So the Guyanese critic is coming to you from success on the east coast of Demerara. Um, just to give you guys a gauge of where that would be the direction of Georgetown. This would be the direction as you see the sign. And this might be Resuvenir actually. Because I'm seeing the success sign way up back in that area. So it might be, um, this should be Resuvenir. When most people consider this area to be success also, right? So, yeah, um, a horrific accident has just happened here and um, tomorrow morning I'll be able to give you guys an update. Um, I have been given photographi uh, photographic footage of an individual's mutilated body. Um, what first I thought was the carcass of some um, animal that had been destroyed was human body parts actually and if you look there you can see the vehicle there's a 4x4 extra cab what seems to be a Toyota Hilux um, I don't know if it's the Hilux or the Nissan uh, to the as you guys know the four doors 4x4 four four, but just at the bottom there in the red uh, where these guys are standing in the center of the screen that there is the dead body of what I think was the driver initial reports I received suggested that um, um, initial reports I received that after the accidents uh, firearms and such uh, like in the equipment firearms it seems that guns, guns one individual reported that there were guns seen at the site um, police obviously would have taken possession of those um, stuff so let me just give you guys a little idea of what this is from the inside corner and um, this vehicle obviously was speeding uh, the individual lost control and as you see there the body is lying on the ground police have cordoned off the area and have started their investigation so the red cloth covers the body and the pickup would have come into contact with the lamp post damaging it as you see these lamp posts have been um, to some extent dislodged for those of you who have just tuned into daybreak news with the Guyanese critic I'm coming to you from Resouvenir the success yes Rissou, so I'm seeing the bonds here so this would be Resouvenir so success is the next village just over the trench um, I'll have to change the header. So this is the Rue Souvenir area and just the success would be the other, the other community heading up in the direction of the East Coast. Um, this is looking in the direction of Georgetown just to give you guys a gauge of where we are. So there's an individual here that is giving police some markings here that suggested um, that there were other people involved in the accidents, other vehicles in this accident. So, police who are taken, and if you don't know, if um, it's not known residents or, or onlookers, sorry, not residents, if persons don't know how this works, after an accident, the persons who would have been involved in the accident, police investigators, um, would ask them to show a location of impact 
So this 4x4 might have swerved from a vehicle or come into contact with another vehicle before losing control and toppling. So um, traffic ranks are, they have an individual here. I don't know if he was driving a car or if he was in the vehicle. But they have an individual here who they're taking, um, asking for a marking. And he's pointing to a spot in the road, suggesting um, most of the cases, from my background understanding, this would be the point of impact. One of the main aspects of an accident, police would ask the drivers to give a point of impact. We're still wondering if the person who is dead was a driver and what is the circumstances. I can tell you it is a gruesome death since body parts, mushed body parts, um, dislocated from the greater part of the body. I don't know what part of the body it was, but it looked like if it was some animal torn apart. GPL has uh, their crew on the ground here. And I don't know if this caused any disruption to the electricity supply in the area, but emergency crew from GPL are also on the ground here doing their part and the driver is showing um, crime scene investigators took out photographs of the driver showing the point of impact was um, this the driver of the vehicle or the driver of another vehicle but when a driver shows the point of impact he is suggesting that he would have came in. You see there, there the, photo, the photographer is taking out a picture with a driver pointing. That would suggest this, um, this individual who's pointing to the location would have been driving another vehicle. And now the police take measurement to understand exactly um, you know, who would be in the right here. But once a point of impact is being um, suggested would suggest they would have had other individuals involved or other vehicles involved in this accident i can tell you if speed was not involved here um, no one should have lost their life if you wear your seat belt and you drive in a manner that is careful and caring for other road users is highly unlikely you would lose your life in a road accident in this country. I've never known um, people to be cautious, caring, people who observe the five C's, drive, drivers who observe the five C's, um, you know, the percentage of those who would have lost their life is not um, over a decimal point. So police are trying to ascertain, and this is traffic ranks, are taking measurements to really ascertain what really transpired here. The vehicle involved and that has seen one individual dead is the 4x4 just in the back there that you see in the wheel at the center of the screen. And there's also an individual just lying down just at the side of that vehicle who has lost his life. Unfortunately, when I received reports um, of this horrific accident, I was told by um, I was told by I was told by first responders that. A firearm was seen outside of the vehicle and I think the police have since taken possession of that. The break news has been unable to ascertain who the driver, who the now dead driver is. But obviously a police report will bring clarity to whatever situation and wrapping up for the break news uh the guy critic is coming to you from Leroy souvenir on 
the railway embankment east coast Demerara um, if you're coming from Georgetown which is that direction you you get to re-souvenir and then the next community is success and if you're coming from on the east coast of Demerara it would be success then re-souvenir and this area has since been cordoned off and police are doing their investigations and the body of an individual who um, would have toppled in the vehicle you're seeing there, the center of the screen, still lies uh, just in a red cloth, just there. The individual lies dead there and um, that individual has experienced a gruesome, obviously instant death since um, tomorrow morning I'll go through the details of the photographs and videos that I've received right away after this accident. Um, there were body parts on the road uh, that were likened to that of some animal that was torn apart. It is hard to believe that is the human remains of the, where is the driver, one of the occupants of this vehicle. Um, I could say the vehicle is not so mangled but it seems that as a result of the driver not having on his seat belt and speeding at the time, he would have come into contact with another vehicle and might have toppled or came into contact even with the lamp posts, uh, the utility poles in the area and lost his life in a gruesome manner. Uh, the Guyanese critic bringing this uh, news update for you for Daybreak News.